Hi, welcome back everybody. This is the finished build of uh, using, this is uh, AeroCool's uh, Cyclone 2. So, the front is, actually I'm going to come swing it to the side here. This is the front. Looks kind of like an, I don't want to say it looks like a, an Alienware because it's really, it's its own thing. But, as you can see, the four inlets here. They're not really fans. It'd be really cool if it was, but they are lit up uh, blue LED. Uh, this has an SSD in there, OCZs, and just put a sticker on there. But let's open up the front. This is perforated here. I mean, I'm sorry, up here. Two vents up here. And you might think that it doesn't have good airflow, but it does. Because believe it or not, this is functional. This is functional. Uh, what we have in here is a multi-card reader, Blu-ray disc, and uh, Asus uh, DVD here. So the top left, uh, I left because there's wires going through there. Uh, the side of the case, the right side is pretty plain, except for the indentations here. Uh, this is the power button here, actually. This ridge here is actually a power button. The reset button is here, which is nice, it's closed. Then on top you have your USB 1, 2, headphone, microphone, ESATA. Now this top, part here is actually functional. You see the blue lighting coming through? That's actually a thermal take uh, 120 millimeter exhaust fan and this is actually exhausting air shooting hot air out and also from the side it's shooting air out and from the back here it's shooting air out. So it's actually functional. Uh, we have a uh, I believe this is a thermal take 120 millimeter blue LED intake fan on the side and Let's take a look at the back. What we have inside this is the Asus Crosshair 5 4 mil motherboard for the AMD uh, AM3 Plus processor. And I actually have a Corsair H60 uh, uh, water cooler in here. So, but this is what the back of the case looks like. Plenty, plenty of ventilation. And I'm gonna open up the case now. So, now this is how it looks. It's very nice. I'm going to disconnect the power cable and after that, we can take a look at the inside of the case. And this is the inside of the case here. We have a big 140 millimeter intake fan here. And it actually is intaking fan uh, air here. The OCZ Agility 3 240 gig SSD is mounted here. This is a, a three and a half to two and a half inch reducer here. And we have a one gig, uh, one terabyte, uh, 7,500, 7, RPM hard drive here. 17s, 850 watt, uh, 80 plus bronze power supply here. And I believe this is going to be, uh, I don't want to say, I think Vantex CPU, I'm saying VGA uh, cooler here. And it's actually functional on this particular motherboard, um, on this particular build because the, uh, the HD Radeon 7970 from Vision Tech. I did an unboxing the other day, but I didn't. I failed to mention that the that the cover, the shroud, is actually metal. I believe it's aluminum, and it is painted, so it's kind of it has a car quality finish paint on it, and it's not plastic. So having this cooler on the bottom, blowing on top of that, uh, on top of that cooler here, the shroud should help cool the temperature uh, a bit. So when the video card is running on high, you can actually feel all the hot air shooting out through the back, and which is the advantage of, the, uh, of this type of cooling uh, solution for video cards. And we have eight gigs of uh, G-Scale 2133 megahertz RAM here, and we actually had to purchase uh, G-Scale's cooler here. The Corsair H60 is, sat, uh, is right there, and we have it set up in a uh, push-pull configuration. This is Antex uh, Tri-Cool. A red LED uh, 120 millimeter fan, and it's roughly the same speed as Corsair's uh, rear fan here, so roughly two CFM the difference. So it works out very well. Uh, there is a lot of airflow in the case, and uh, you know you wouldn't think that there would be, but there is. And I've let this thing run Skyrim, in which it's running Skyrim right now, uh, heavily modded, and it's very very smooth. So. A uh, very good system, very nice system, uh, really nice case. I didn't think that the airflow was going to flow that well, 
but somehow it really does. So any questions or comments, just please post them at the bottom of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.